I'm LJ Smith, I'm an ST6 respiratory trainee in North Central and East London. Hello, my name is Graham Wilson, I'm a chest physician based at Charing Cross, which is part of the Imperial College Healthcare and Chest Trust organisation. I'm also an honorary senior lecturer at Imperial College. How would you uh, describe the specialty to someone who didn't know much about it? Well, I think respiratory medicine is a great career choice. You will never be bored and it has a really good mix of the theoretical physiological basis that underpins it, but it's also a very practical um, specialty as well. And as well as physiology, of course, now we have lots of research that's been done into the immunology, lots of new drugs that have come out of that. So as a specialty, it's a really forward-thinking specialty, but also it has this potential to bring in new treatments that will be specifically for certain conditions that perhaps in the past have not been so well served. I guess I'd say that it was uh, uh, definitely grounded in general medicine, which is something I think we should be very proud of. We're able to look after the whole patient. And it really ranges right from very acute emergency situations with airway problems and NIV, as you say, all the way through to having long-term relationships with patients. What brought you into respiratory medicine? I always liked the patients, um, and I thought that Actually, not all of them always got the best deal. So even within cancer, lung cancer patients don't necessarily have the best outcomes and don't get diagnosed quickly enough. Within COPD and ILD, breathlessness is a really difficult and frightening symptom. And I think we could do better. And I thought these are really people that would be fulfilling to help. What brought you into respiratory medicine? I was working in a cardiothoracic unit back in Liverpool. And at the time, I was trying to decide between cardiology and respiratory medicine. And as you've already touched upon, the nice thing about respiratory medicine is it encompasses an awful lot of general medicine. For me, I think it was that nice mix of the physiology and the practical procedures. And as you say, patients, you know, the, the, looking after respiratory patients has always been a real privilege and a pleasure. So how would you um, advise a core medical trainee about the current specialty pathway for respiratory medicine? Well, it, it's quite straightforward. So from uh, core medical training, then they would need to apply for an ST3 job in respiratory medicine, and they would hope to get one of those and then have run through training. Um, in order to prepare for that kind of process, there's a number of things that they should be doing during their core medical training, really to show that they're committed to the specialty, but also to make sure that it is the right thing for them. So I would advise that they not only take an interest in the respiratory patients they'll be coming across all the time during their rotations and during their on-take, but try and get um, some insight into some of the other things that we do as respiratory physicians, which you don't see just on the wards. So perhaps some specialty clinics, um, perhaps visiting the bronchoscopy suite and observing, um, and making sure that they've um, had some good experience in some of the plural procedures, even if it's just a plural tap, and thinking about how that contributes to management. When you are looking at the prospective applicants for new respiratory registrars, what are you particularly looking for? What skills and attributes do they need to bring to really um, excel in respiratory medicine? Thinking widely and thinking differently, I think, are quite important attributes for future chest physicians. I would hope that people have an interest in their patients, because that's really important. We are dealing with a group of patients who have, as you say, have not necessarily been served well historically, but who are definitely receiving better treatments, newer treatments that are designed for their particular illness. So we need people who can take a good history, who can talk to patients, who can listen to patients, and who can deal with patients who have a very, very frightening symptom, which is breathlessness. What advice might you give to somebody about respiratory medicine who's thinking seriously of taking it up as an option? Um, come and talk to us, come and ask us about what our jobs are like. If you're not into research, that doesn't matter, there are other opportunities. If you are into research, we've definitely got opportunities. Um, and respiratory medicine is really at the core of what medicine is, particularly hospital medicine, but also increasingly uh, integrated care. So there's going to be jobs around for a long time and they're going to need plenty of us. So uh, we're looking for enthusiastic people. Thank you.